And then there's the matter of your home's operating costs and resale value. Steve Batts is a building and remodeling contractor in Greensboro, North Carolina. I think that with energy costs getting to be like they are, houses are going to start being like cars. We're going to start looking at the window sticker to see how much cost of the utilities are going to be per month. You're going to start seeing people asking for your utility bills in the future, wanting to see how much this house is going to cost to run. And if it's, if it's not an efficient house, they're going to go down the street and buy one that is more quickly than they are yours. There are plenty of reasons to rethink our living space, including our health. I spoke with Natural Home Magazine editor Robin Griggs Lawrence at the West Coast Green Building Show in San Francisco. People are realizing that their homes are connected to their health. And it's a funny thing that, that it's taken this long for people to get that, but it kind of follows naturally when people started to buy organic food and they started to see, oh, what I put in my body matters and makes a difference to my health. And then they started to understand that, you know, just an extension of that, oh, the environment I live in also affects my health. So I think that's really has been an important, it's kind of the next step in people's consciousness being raised about living naturally. Now, part of the challenge is persuading builders themselves to work with you in your home. Held in many states, green building tours can help, as Ivan Erlop of the North Carolina Sustainable Energy Association explains. One of the challenges that we're trying to overcome with the green building tour this year, and, and we've tried to overcome in the past, is that builders don't always have the consumer's best interest in mind when they build a building. What are their incentives to make it energy efficient, to make it green? Educating the consumers through the Green Building Tour creates the demand uh, for a green building. And then it also creates the market space for that. Now, if you're ever in St. Louis, a wonderful place for information is the Earthways Center, located in a 125-year-old house where ideas for green home building and human beings to talk about them are at your fingertips. The first thing you'll hear from Jean Ponzi is the central importance of daylighting. We almost never have to turn the lights on in this room. Daylighting is one of the key factors in green building because when you can take advantage of natural daylight, you don't have to have the lights on, the rooms are cooler. It's a real win-win-win situation all the way around. Energy conservation is a big theme with Jean and her guests as in compact fluorescent bulbs, and my son, Henry. And it's producing the same amount of light, but look how much electricity it's using. So if you could change your light bulbs to this more energy efficient light bulb, you'd get a lot more mileage out of your electricity and you'd save a lot of electricity